Welcome to the first of a regular series of technical training video podcasts from AMSES Training. In this first podcast we'll take a look at some of the features that make Spotlight so powerful and flexible. If you have any suggestions on future podcasts, please feel free to email your ideas to podcasts at amses.co.uk. Normally, you just type the phrase that you're looking for in Spotlight and it will find various different kinds of information including emails, contacts, documents, images, music, movies, PDFs, etc. that match your criteria. This gives you a great view of everything you're looking for on your file system. The results returned by Spotlight can be very long and sometimes daunting especially if you have not been very specific on what you've asked Spotlight to find. For instance, not only Spotlight returned file and directory names that match your search criteria, but it will find emails, iCar appointments, as well as search the contents of text, Microsoft Word and PDF files. You can adjust how Spotlight displays its results by using the Spotlight System Preference. The Spotlight Preference pane list the different categories of information you can search on as well as the order in which they will appear in the return results list. For instance, we may decide that documents should be listed first but we do not want to display emails that match our search criteria. So the first question is how does Spotlight actually work? The Spotlight engine is tightly integrated into Mac OS 10.4 it communicates in the background with both the Mac OS X file system and the kernel. Whenever a file is added, moved, deleted or modified, the file system notifies the Spotlight engine and the engine updates its index, which is also known as the Spotlight store. This store is located in a hidden directory called Spotlight-V100 at the top level of the hard drive. When Spotlight is notified of a change, the engine queries launch services to determine the kind of file that has been updated. This is the same way the finder uses to determine which application to launch when a file is double clicked. Once the Spotlight engine has identified the file type, it calls the appropriate Spotlight plugin to pass the file. Spotlight plugins do most of the work for the Spotlight engine. Each plugin is specialised for a particular file type or set of file types. For example, there is one Spotlight plugin for Keynote and another for all image types that Mac OS X natively supports. Spotlight plugins are stored in either System Library Spotlight or Library Spotlight. You can also check what plugins are installed and their location from the command line by using the command line tool MD import with the minus L attribute. New plugins are always being released. The best place to look is on Apple's website at apple.com forward slash downloads forward slash Mac OS X forward slash spotlight. Unless the applications you are using have specific Spotlight plugins, Spotlight will not be able to understand their file types and thus will not be able to index them for use. As we mentioned, when you perform a search via Spotlight, it will search through all the information returned by the various plugins. If, however, you know the type of data you are searching for, you can perform more specific searches using the Spotlight KIND keyword. You use the KIND keyword in conjunction with a specific list of built-in keywords that represent data you want to search for. As an example, to find all applications, I can enter KIND followed by a colon followed by the word applications. Spotlight should then just return a list of applications it has found. 
If I wanted to find all PDFs, I can just enter kind colon PDF. To find all events in iCal, I can enter kind colon event. So let's see this in action. If I bring up the spotlight search field, then I enter my query. So I'm going to do the search for just applications. So I enter kind colon applications and hey presto I get a list of all applications that Spotlight has found. I can do the same for PDFs so I, I enter kind colon PDF and there's my PDFs and then finally for the uh, iCal events I just type in kind colon event and there's a list of events in my iCal. So this is the list of uh, keywords supported by Spotlight. Uh, the first one is for applications. We've, been, we've in fact seen these, these ones um, but there are actually three for applications. We have kind colon application, kind colon applications and kind colon app. Uh, most of these uh, keywords will have a singular and a plural version. They, they do the same thing. We have two for contacts uh, in address book, two for folders, uh, four for email messages in the Apple Mail program. We have two for um, iCal events, four for the to-dos in iCal, two for images, two for movies, we have one for music and one for generic audio files, one for PDFs. We have two for the Apple system preference panes, two for Safari bookmarks, two for fonts, and lastly two for uh, keynote presentations. We can narrow our search criteria even more by using our own phrases in conjunction with the built-in keywords. As an example, we could add the word text edit to kind colon applications to find only applications that relate to text edit. Or we could add the word documents to kind colon folders to list only folders that relate to documents. And finally, we could add the word TCPIP to kind colon preferences so only list system preferences that relate to TCP. Finally, there's another keyword which Spotlight supports, which is the date keyword. Uh, this keyword is used to look for file uh, creation or modification dates, or also events in iCal. So here's some examples. We've got one for this month, uh, one for this week, one for this year. Uh, today and yesterday and we've got one for tomorrow, next week, next month and next year. Also these, these last four ones uh, they're not part of some sort of psychic module that OS 10 now supports uh, these are just for um, future iCal events. So here are some uh, examples using the date keyword. So entering into the search field for spotlight date colon this year will find any files or folders with a creation or modification date of sometime this year or any iCal events for this year. Um, date colon today will find any files or folders or iCal events for today. Uh, date colon next week will list any iCal events for next week and in the same way we could combine phrases uh, with standard kind keywords, we can do the same for date. So date colon next week Apple will find any iCal events for next week that relate to Apple. Well we hope you found this video podcast on Spotlight really useful and stay tuned for future presentations from AMSES. Bye bye.